signal processing gives us endless potential to leverage data science for social good. Let's take a look at just one of those areas of potential, global health. In 2015, an outbreak of Zika virus caused a scare throughout the Americas. In the aftermath, IBM's researchers launched a project to predict where diseases like Zika might be most likely to appear. Zika virus is carried by reservoir animals. These animals, typically primates, show no symptoms of the disease, but the virus is spread to humans by mosquitoes that bite them. IBM's researchers analyzed data gathered by ecologists on 400 different species of primates worldwide. They looked at factors like gestational age and forearm length, which might not seem like they're related to carrying Zika virus, but are important for clustering related species together. By applying new Bayesian multi-label learning algorithms to process the data, they pinpointed which species had the highest potential of being reservoir animals for the Zika virus and created a global map showing which regions of the world had the highest possibility of seeing Zika develop into another public health crisis. These algorithms combined multi-label learning and Bayesian inference statistical signal processing techniques. Multi-label learning takes a single instance of an example or problem and simultaneously associates it with a set of labels, such as Zika virus and other similar diseases like dengue and St. Louis encephalitis. Bayesian inference can overcome the problem of not having a large amount of data by incorporating prior probabilities and updating them when new evidence is provided. This information could be used to decide where to commit medical resources, where to avoid traveling to, or where to more carefully screen travelers from. This project required engineers to create the algorithm which processed the data sets through machine learning and statistical signal processing techniques. But the potential of signal processing doesn't stop there. The age of big data produced tons of information, which if processed intelligently can fight global health problems, including the U.S. opioid epidemic. IBM's researchers applied a similar process to understanding opioid addiction, this time through causal analysis of the problem and understanding of the effects of specific treatments versus a predictive perspective. Researchers processed data from health insurance companies using the combination of propensity score modeling and treatment effect estimation. Propensity score modeling leverages observational data to estimate the causal treatment effect and relies on observing two groups of people with the same or similar characteristics. One group is given the treatment under study and the other is given a placebo, which has no therapeutic effect and is used as a study control. The researchers pinpointed people who were most at risk of becoming addicted after being prescribed opioid medication, including which types of treatments and prescriptions led to adverse events like long-term use. This information and knowledge helps doctors make informed decisions before prescribing certain treatments and ultimately mitigate opioid addiction. As governments and other organizations try to tackle this public health crisis, this acquired information could potentially be used to prevent further cases of addiction. By processing the data and extracting the useful hidden information from it, signal processing engineers have the power to contribute to society in ways yet imagined. The IEEE Signal Processing Society can help you understand this exciting profession and build a career that can make a major impact on the world. Learn more at www.signalprocessingsociety.org.